everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a special edition um, Lavender and Speckles video about the upcoming strawberry sampler. It's going to be available with Beth's pre-order this Saturday. I, I, oh man, what time is it? I, I, I don't remember what time it is. I'm sorry for that. So um, if you haven't checked out Beth's list for Saturday yet, please do so. There are nine nine samplers being offered. Some of them are repeat. She's having uh, the raspberry jam sampler that Charity worked on a few months ago. She's having um, the lavender and speckles favorites, which has always been a favorite because it's been offered four or five times, I think. Then she has some new ones. She has uh, the one that Laura's doing, which is the laundry sampler, the one I'm doing. And there's another lady that collaborated with Beth on the, um, I don't remember what that one was either. I'm sorry. I just sat down. I didn't refresh myself with who's doing what. Uh, she's going to have a couple of mini samplers too, a fall fruits and a mini pumpkin sampler. And I don't know about you, but I have a few samplers on my list. But more importantly, um, Beth, in my in my last video, my last um, my my last pre order video, Beth sent in a sampler of uh, the strawberry sampler for me to warm and to give her feedback on and and just you know see uh, if I think something needs tweaked and blah 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 so Beth and I have been talking back and forth the last few days I have been warming all of these I've warmed all of these uh, in my home in my hot plate warmers and in my Sensio cord I am out of tea lights so I can't attest to how this formula performs in tea lights but they're performing like crazy in my hot plate so I'm sure the tea lights will just be a little bit more bumped up uh, so a little bit about lavender and speckles it's owned by Beth Wilson and her husband Matt from Rogersville Alabama and as I said this upcoming Saturday the, the 13th um, I think it's been I don't know if it's been 10 o'clock uh, central time she is an hour ahead of me I, I believe no, maybe she's Eastern time. I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, I don't remember all the vendors and what time zones they're in for, for the most part. So um, this strawberry sampler, I had reached out to Beth a few months ago and I asked her, you know, have you ever done a strawberry sampler? Because I, I like a lot of us, I love strawberry scent sense and it being summertime and in my opinion the strawberries are past their peak uh, their peak that they hit in May and June of that just nice delicious lusciousness however the beauty is we can have strawberry smelling wax in our homes all year round without having to just have it be summertime so I reached out to her and I asked her if she ever did a strawberry sampler and she said it's on my list for later this year or whatever would you like to help with it so I said yes of course I would love to help so um I I wrote down a big long list if you know me you know I, I keep lists especially of blend ideas and Beth and I had a um, Zoom call, I think it was Zoom, yeah, a Zoom call uh, on a Saturday morning bright and early uh, several weeks ago, and we talked about blends, and then uh, she played around in her laboratory on her side, uh, because sometimes what's on paper doesn't always, you know, pan out in reality, especially when you're playing around with fra fragrance oils or that. Uh, so then these, these, um, there's 11, there's 11 blends in here. One of them is one that is going to be the sample in this sampler. If you look at the graphics that Beth has in her group, there's a couple changes that I will tell you as this video goes on. But if you look at the graphic in the group, some of the samplers do have a specified sample. Some don't. So uh, this, the one blend that's going to be the sample is one that um, was one of the original ones, but then Beth just wanted me to smell it first to see what I thought about it, and then we just made it the, the sample, you know, a couple of days ago. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I will say is... Um, the samplers come in these mesh bags. However, uh, the this next pre-order is going to be different in this in packaging regard. Um, I've talked back and forth with Beth about a couple of things, just some feedback, and I don't think she's going to be using these mesh bags because they are pouring these sa samplers all in the new olive oil formula. So um, she's thinking of, because these are the little condiment cups that a lot of vendors use for samples and such, and sometimes these lids can crack, and if they're, you know, just jumping around.
sitting around in a bed like this. Uh, I did have a couple lids that came cracked and such. So I just gave her my feedback and her and Matt have been working on um, brainstorming how to remedy some of those things. Uh, so the mesh bag probably will not be uh, anymore, at least for this one. Uh, I don't know what Beth has planned, but I know that she did post, I think today or yesterday, that she's brainstorming and working on some, some packaging things. Um, but I think that they're going to still be poured in these little two ounce condiment cups such as this right here. So I'm going to pour these out and talk about the wax. So I enjoyed all of these. And what we wanted to do with this is we wanted to have a little bit of something for everybody. A little bit of bakery, a little bit of non-bakery, a little bit of fruity, a little bit of floral, and just a little bit of all-around fabulousness, I guess. So a couple of these are, um, actually one of them that I can think of is already uh, on Beth's list, Parisian I think it's Parisian Bake Shop. That's already one that is on um, her master list. And I loved it so much. And I thought so many of us like Sweet on Paris. It would be a great addition to have. But other than that, all these other ones are brain children. So brand new ones. <laughs> so um, I melted most of these. There are a couple that I didn't get to warm. Actually, I didn't, I didn't fully melt this one because I've warmed this before in the past. This is a pine cone one. And I think... Uh, that one was in the pine cone sampler now that I now that I think about it so I'm just gonna grab and go so first one I want to talk about here is I'm just looking at all these here to familiarize myself this first one here we have fresh lab let's try this not fresh lavender that's another sampler that's gonna be available Fresh strawberries, island coconut, and cotton candy. I don't know if, there we go, my camera can zoom in here. Fresh strawberries, island coconut, and cotton candy. So, Beth's cotton candy, I'm really, really, really liking. Because it doesn't just have that sugary, sweet, tooth achingly sweet scent to it that a lot of vendors cotton candy oil seem to have. This one is softer. It has a little bit more vanilla in it. It's creamier. So, I thought fresh strawberry, because I love strawberry. Beth only has a handful of strawberry oils. She has sweet strawberry, strawberry jam, strawberries and cream, uh, strawberry milkshake, and there's a couple of other ones in there. So uh, we, we had to, we just had to stick with those ones. And I thought stra fresh strawberries. I'm not sure if it's fresh picked strawberries or just fresh strawberry. I know that some vendors have both, or it goes with the same thing. I'm not really sure on that part. But what I like about this one is you can really smell the creaminess and richness of the coconut. So if you are a coconut person and you like a little bit of sweetness and just a little bit of strawberry, this one would be one that you would like. This one, to me, on warm, I smelled a little hint of strawberry. Not so much. The coconut and the cotton candy were just the stars in here. It's not to say that the strawberry isn't there. It is there. It's just this one is creamy island coconut. In fact, I love this one so much. Uh, next time I'm up for customs with Beth, I'm going to use this island coconut and make some summery concoctions that I can enjoy in the dead of winter. It's July now in Utah and hotter than hell. So all across the country is hotter than hell, I should say. Uh, so that will be a nice little relief from the cold, cold winter. So this one is fresh strawberries, island coconut, and cotton candy. Okay, next. This one is strawberry jam, moon spice, and old town bakery. Uh, there we go. Moon spice is a nice little... Um, it's a, it's a nice bakery. It's got a little bit of spice. I'm not sure if it's nutmeg or cinnamon or maybe a little bit of both. It's not cinnamon. Well, actually, let me, let me, let me think. It's got a, it has a little bit of a cinnamon sugar presentation. It's not hot cinnamon. It's not straight cinnamon. It's got, if you've ever smelled moon spice, it's Celtic moon spice. It has... It goes well with coffee. It goes well with bakery. It just has a little bit of a spice profile. I dare say it's similar to zucchini bread spice profile. I think it has a little bit more cinnamon sugar in it, at least to my nose. So strawberry jam, 
and Moon Spice and Old Town Bakery. Old Town Bakery, I think, is just a simple, creamy, rich, doughy blend. This I loved because you get equal amounts of that Moon Spice and you get equal amounts of the Old Town Bakery and the Strawberry Jam. This, I had this whole entire thing going downstairs in, in my hot plate warmers in my open concept. I could smell this with my air conditioner on and I should say that ahead of time. My air has been on just like most of the country and upstairs and downstairs I can smell this with the with the air blowing. I know where the drafts are in my home and such. And downstairs the AC, I've said this in previous videos, the AC actually accentuates the blends and the, the blends that I'm warming. So I really 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 like this one. If you like a little bit of bakery, a little bit of fruit, that one's for you. Okay, next, this one is one that I absolutely had to talk to Beth about because this is one that I've had before with another vendor or vendors, and I thought it would be a great addition and something different and a little bit of floral to the strawberry sampler. This is strawberry jam, lavender, and fresh cut roses. So if you know me, you know I'm a rose girl. And um, I love lavender also. I'm in love with lavender and I love strawberry. So I've had all three of them together. And when I proposed this one to Beth, Beth actually said that she's really been interested in putting those together because she thought about the same thing. I, I think uh, she might have said it about a couple of other ones too, but I know definitely the rose one was definitely one that she wanted to do. And this, let me tell you something, this is beautiful. Yes, you have to like rose, but this is such a small little container. You know, try it out. You might surprise yourself because you really can get the lavender in the back sniff and you can get that nice, this is strawberry jam, right? Yes, you can get that nice sticky strawberry that just this whole blend shines. I would order this in a custom. I would get more of this because I absolutely love feminine blends like this. Next, this one is one that we both really, really, really were interested in. This is Strawberries and Cream and Bless Your Heart. Bless Your Heart, come on focus, there we go. Bless Your Heart was a blend that was offered this last pre-order um, as a new one. And I think it has the, I don't remember the Sol de Janeiro um, fragrance name for it, but I believe it's number 71. It also has a little bit of uh, white cake and uh, I don't remember the last, there's three parts to Bless Your Heart, the, the Sol de Janeiro, the White Cake, and there's, there's something else. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember. But put strawberries and cream with that because that number 71, that macadamia, that little bit of creaminess to it, it's such a gorgeous macadamia vanilla fragrance. It's very warm. It's in the same... Uh, category and similar to warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works. If you've ever smelled that, how it's warm and it kind of envelops you in that in that comfort. It's not it does it that's not how number seventy one smells, but just those feelings of that warmth and that creamy vanilla. That's what I get from this one. The strawberry in here, this is strawberries and cream, so it's not going to be a pow in your face strong strawberry. It's creamy, and this is a really creamy, beautiful, lightly scented strawberry scent. I'm really happy with how this one performed. I had this one going upstairs in my office, actually. That's why there's half of it left, because I wanted to enjoy it another day. <laughs> Next, this one is fantastic, too. This is strawberry rhubarb. That's another one, another oil that she has. Strawberry rhubarb, sweet lavender, whipped cream, and bread. So we wanted to have one where it had lavender and bakery in it. Come on, focus. There we go. Lavender and bakery, because so many of us love lavender and bakery. I mean, bread and lavender are just fantastic together. So the strawberry rhubarb, you know, uh, rhubarb naturally is a very, very bitter I don't want to call it a fruit. It's a root, really. I think it's a root. But anyways, most of the time, rhubarb is prepared with strawberry. So strawberry rhubarb, it's just a nice, super sugary, sweet strawberry. Uh, the bread part of it is very dominant in here. You really get a nice kick of bread. And the lavender is in here, too. 
the lavender comes out a little bit more on warm. It's a sweet lavender at that, um, but it plays very nicely with the bread, and the bread plays nicely with the strawberry uh, rhubarb. And then the whipped cream is just there to give a little bit of sweetness. This this lasted several hours, this blended, and I didn't have a chance to let these cure any longer than you know a week or so when I got this because I wanted to get these melted. I wanted to give you warm feedback also, not just sniffing them on cold and telling you what they smell like on cold. I wanted to really enjoy these in my home. So maybe if they had a little bit more cure time, they might have performed even better than I already did. But Beth's Wax Formula, this new olive oil formula, is really, really, really great. It holds a lot of fragrance. I will say this this wax is it's very oily. It's not oily as it leaves a oil film on top or anything like that, but when you touch it, it's softer than Teddy Bee's, and you do not need a metal utensil to cut it. You can cut it with a butter knife. It just, it it almost collapses under your fingertips. It's so soft. So when, another thing that I, I did mention is sometimes th these have a little bit of wax on the bottom, just when they pour these in such a small container. So if you do get that in these samplers, so you know, just understand that it's the chemistry behind the wax, and it's just gonna be part of this formula. But look at the, um, the the payback you're getting with the fragrance load and the performance in your home. And I think, I mean, I've seen a lot of you guys' posts that you're just loving this olive oil formula. And I'm one of those. Even though I only had a little cup like this as a sample a few months ago, my last order was nothing but the olive oil formula. And all my customs that are due to, due to be delivered on Friday are all the olive oil formula. So, you know, you just have to, if you're somebody who is a little hesitant to get a, a softer wax or an, a little bit more of an oily texture, give this one a chance. You know, just get a sampler and see what you do. We'll see what you think. So that's just my honest opinion on, on these little cups and, and the texture. But this is so good. This bread, I keep sniffing this container because this bread is just, uh, it's just so strong and it's so yummy and creamy and rich. I love that one. This next one is one of my favorites in this blend. And in fact, um, Beth and I were talking about this one earlier and I told her that this one is one of my favorites and it performs so well. This is strawberry, watermelon, cotton candy, and fresh cut grass. Come on. Are you gonna focus? There we go. Strawberry, watermelon, cotton candy, and fresh cut grass. So, grass. I know it might be intimidating to some of you. Give this one a chance. Watermelon and grass is gorgeous together. Beth has blended this in such a magnificent way that you really get all four of these. You get the watermelon, you get the strawberry, you get the cotton candy, and you get the grass. The grass is there to give this that little bit of summery pop that is unexpected because grass, I love grass oils. I'm not afraid to play around with grass and hay and all those things. But watermelon and strawberry just go so magnificently well together. Add in cotton candy, which that was Beth's idea to put cotton candy in this one. I think we had lavender in here originally, but then she thought, what about cotton candy? It'll just give it a little bit of creaminess. And I'm so glad that she made that recommendation because I can't imagine this one without the cotton candy now. Uh, and the grass is, it's not overpowering it's there but you also when this heats up you just it's just like summertime with sticky fingers running around with with polar pops or ice pops or popsicles just you know smeared all over your face as a kid or rolling around in the grass with the grass stains eating watermelon on the fourth of july this is the quintessential summer blend this one is one i would order in customs too i love that one this, uh, we'll do that. We'll do the sample one last. This next one here, this is one I'm pretty sure that I've worn before. This is strawberry and dreamy pine cones. So dreamy pine cones is a, is a blend on Beth's master list. This is strawberry pound cake, marshmallow clouds, and roasted pine cones. So boardwalk marshmallow clouds. And she had a pine cone sampler offered a few times. And I've already warmed through that thing. Oh, I love, I love Beth's take on the roasted pine cone. So I knew that I wanted to have a roasted pine cone blend in the sampler and Beth agreed. 
So we thought to do strawberry and dreamy pine cones because some of you aren't tree or pine lovers and we didn't want to put pine and rose because you know two polarizing blends sometimes uh, are a little intimidating people. So we thought if we did boardwalk marshmallow clouds and strawberry pound cake to make it a little bit more feminine and then add extra strawberry into the dreamy actually hold on a second the strawberry pound cake in here is strawberry pound cake and the dreamy pine cones is just the marshmallow clouds and the pine cones excuse me i got a little ahead of myself so boardwalk marshmallow clouds is a beautiful classic creamy marshmallow fragrance and the and the Roasted pine cone is creamy wood. I love it. It's my preferred pine. It is a creamy wood, similar to Palo Santo, creamy, relaxing wood, but it's just got a little bit more of a crispness, crispness to it, if that makes sense. So Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds has magnolia in it and vanilla, and it's just a, a beautiful experience. Beth uses that oil quite a lot, and I love it because it just gives a little something, and it's a strong oil. If you, if you haven't tried it, um, Beth uses it a lot, like I said. And the Strawberry Pound Cake, I mean, if you guys love Strawberry Musk, which is Icy Vanilla Woods and and strawberry pound cake that strawberry pound cake component is here this one I can smell both I smell the sweetness of the strawberry pound cake and I also smell the boardwalk marshmallow clouds the uh, pine cone comes alive a little bit more on warm with this blend from what I remember Next, this is one that is um, on Beth's master list already. This is Parisian Sweet Shop. Parisian Sweet Shop, I, I think, was a custom either by Charity or Jenny Dominguez, one of the two. I, I think that, um, actually, now that I think about it, Dreamy Pine Cones, the one I just talked about, I'm pretty sure that was Charity's custom blend. And then Parisian Sweet Shop is Jenny's. So Jenny has fantastic blending nose as does charity they both have magnificent blends throughout the two uh, throughout the years from the two of them so this one here is fresh strawberry sweet on paris and sugar cookie royale so is it going to focus here maybe not there we go so sweet on paris is a bath and body works blend it's in the vault it hasn't been out in a while but a lot of vendors carry that oil and i'm so happy that beth does because it's a really good oil i can thank a friend miss tam uh for getting me really in the suite on paris and now i can't get it up so the strawberries and the sweet on paris and the sugar cookie royale this is just a nice fruity bakery sweetness i just absolutely like this blend love this blend i should say the Sweet on Paris is dominant. You have the Sugar Cookie Royale, which is so sweet and sticky and yummy. And you have that little bit of strawberry there. This is a great one, Parisian Sweet Shop. Okay, next we have Strawberry Vanilla Surf. Now, is that one going to focus? Maybe not. Maybe. Well, this is, this is a handwritten label, Strawberry Vanilla Surf. So Vanilla Surf, I think I'm the only one that ordered last time that didn't get Vanilla Surf. I don't know why I didn't get it. But I was looking at the notes and it has vanilla in it and driftwood and sea salt and marshmallow. It's one, one scent note shy of being beach marshmallows. So I don't remember which part is missing, but it if you like beach marshmallows, which is Beth's take on beach nights, you would like Vanilla Surf. Even though... I've never smelled vanilla surf before. This does have the same quality that her beach marshmallow does. It just doesn't have the s'mores part in it, which I think is the beach marshmallow and this is the vanilla surf. But this is a beautiful, nice, delicious, creamy vanilla. If you had uh, vanilla pine cones from the last pre-order and it was even in the pine cone sampler, I love that vanilla. That vanilla is a rich, sweet vanilla, not vanilla extract and not exactly bakery vanilla, but it's just a beautiful, nice, creamy, rich vanilla blended with strawberry. I don't remember if this is strawberry jam or what strawberry this is or if it's sweet strawberry, but nonetheless, this is vanilla surf, those beautiful, gorgeous, creamy marshmallow waves with strawberry. I like this one. This was all Beth. This was Mitt's Beth's creation, so all Beth. 
Uh, this next one, last one here actually before the sample is strawberry milkshake, spiced oat milk, and zucchini bread. This is the one that's going to have a little bit of an adjustment to it. When I warmed this um, and my husband smelled it, he, he thought that it smelled a little different. Different when, coming from my husband means something is off. So I smelled it and I messaged Beth because I just, I wanted to give, she asked me, you know, give me feedback if I have to tweak a little bit of this or if you don't like something. She's very, very, very generous in that way and very kind. And, and I don't want to say I gave her criticism, but she listens to, to me because I'm, I'm the one that's smelling it as the consumer. So I said, you know, I, I wonder if there's a little bit too much zucchini bread and spiced oat spiced oat milk in here if you notice she's got quite a few um actually maybe not quite a few she's got several oat milk blends that are in this next list i think uh, she's got 140 some blends so excuse me if i don't remember which ones are available um, but i thought maybe it needed a little bit more vanilla or maybe the strawberry milkshake just wasn't the best of an, um, excuse me the best strawberry to use in this case so she said let me let me play around here for a little while and i'll see what i see what i can come up with so she messaged me a few hours later and said, you know, I put strawberry jam in with the spiced oat milk and the zucchini bread, and she even likes it better. She thought that maybe the strawberry milkshake had a little bit too vanilla in it. I think this strawberry milkshake, if it's the same strawberry milkshake that other vendors have, I think it's a philosophy uh, dupe. Philosophy is a big um, bath and body company. They do, they do face care and all those things. It's sold on QVC and HSN and Sephora. I think, you know, philosophy, they have the recipe on the front of their bottles. I used to use philosophy a while ago, but I haven't for a long time. So this one is going to be strawberry jam, spiced oat milk and zucchini bread. But this blend is really, really good. I just have to think about, I've had strawberry jam a spiced oat milk and zucchini bread before. So this one here is for your zucchini bread lovers and a little bit of that creaminess and that, um, I don't wanna call it a chai spice profile because it's not as warm as chai is, but spiced oat milk is just a little bit of creaminess. If you've ever had oat milk, it has a different type of creaminess to it because it's not a dairy milk and it's not almond milk, it's its its own thing. I, I wish I could drink oat milk right now, I can't, but I love oat milk, it's so comforting. Just put a little bit of cinnamon on there maybe just the slightest hint of nutmeg and that's your spiced oat milk so it, it, it lends a creamy factor to this blend and the strawberry jam goes beautifully with coffee strawberry not coffee strawberry goes beautifully with with spiced oat milk and um zucchini bread so if you haven't had that combination you'll be in for a treat with this one because this is a fantastic blend I just imagine the strawberry jam part of it. I hope that may, hope that makes sense. And this last one here, this was one that Beth, um, she didn't quite want to commit to. Like I said, uh, she wanted me to see, wanted to see what I thought of it first because she wasn't really sure if this is what Hawaiian Tropic smells like. This is strawberry Hawaiian Tropic. We thought, you know, it's the middle of summer. And even though you'll be getting this in a couple of months, this pre-order, who doesn't like a little bit of summertime any time of year? So the Hawaiian Tropic is, of course, the famous sunscreen and the tanning company and strawberry. So I've had strawberry and sunscreen blends with other vendors, strawberry, pineapple, coconut, sunscreen. And I, I like that. It's different. It's not something that you get all the time. And if you guys know me, you know I'm a little bit off the beaten path, a little not cookie cutter. So I thought this would be a great combination. And I had this going. I put three pieces in my cord warmer because I really wanted to smell this up close and I left the room I went downstairs I came upstairs I let it go for several hours I greeted it at different times of the day I really wanted to see and I really think this is one that should be a sample and because you know who knows sometimes the sample is the one that you guys fall in love with and with that I will say that the strawberry is just it's kind of similar to if you ever had a strawberry daiquiri and how it's just a nice, sweet, creamy strawberry. This is what that is. It's a nice, sweet, creamy strawberry with a little bit of just, it's not outright pow sunscreen. It's a creamy, more of a coconutty sunscreen. And with that, 
that is the strawberry sampler. I had so much fun uh, working with Beth on this sampler. I absolutely love strawberry and I want to thank Beth for offering uh, this task to me to work with her for um, one of her samplers. So thank you, Beth, for everything, all that you do for us, for you you and Matt, and how kind and generous you are. Uh, the love that you give out is certainly being give, given back to you. So if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to comment on here or message me on Facebook. I'm going to try to post in the Facebook group about these blends individually if I get time to the next few days. Um, I know some of you guys don't really watch videos. I know you're watching this video right now, so... But there are some people out there that don't do YouTube. Um, I'll do my best. So I hope you guys have a great evening. Stay cool. And I'll